Hey everybody, I'm here to introduce mouse events and Big Bang. Big Bang programs can be influenced by the user's mouse movements and clicks. In order to make your Big Bang program change with the user's mouse movement, called mouse events, include the following branch in your Big Bang program. The function that handles mouse events must always have the following signature. The two numbers represent the x and y coordinates of where the mouse event took place, such as where a user may have clicked on the screen. A mouse event is a specific string describing what exact mouse movement happened. For example, button down is a mouse click, move is when the mouse pointer moves across the screen, and drag is when the mouse button is held down and moved across the screen. Let's revisit our previous Big Bang example of an increasing square. Let's change the program so that whenever the user clicks anywhere on the screen, the animation will restart. As usual, we will start with the signature, which is easy since all functions dealing with mouse events have the same signature. Then we move on to the purpose. This function will return the initial world, which is zero, when the mouse is clicked, otherwise the world stays the same. Nothing else will happen. And now the function. As always, we start with define. We take a world, an x, a y, and a mouse event. Mouse equal huh returns true if two mouse events are equal. If the mouse event passed to the function is buttoned down, meaning if the user clicks anywhere on the screen, then the world returned to zero, the initial world we passed to Big Bang, down here. Otherwise, we just return the world with no changes. The x and y coordinates are not used in this function because it does not matter where the user clicks. Now, to run this program, we add an on mouse clause and pass in the name of our mouse event function. Hit run and click. Notice how the square increases even if we move our mouse across the screen, but only restarts if we click anywhere on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I hope it helped, and until next time.